So today we're going to uh, take some clippings off of this sour cherry tree. I'm also going to take some off an apple tree and a pear tree. And then I'm also going to use uh, another method, which I'll show later on in this video. So there's an apple tree in the bush line right here. It's right in our property line there, but it's not getting a lot of uh, attention. So I'm gonna take some clippings off of it and we'll see how these apples come out because I'm not really sure the dogs used to come out and grab them and have a little snack, so it can't be that bad. But we have another apple tree that we know is, uh, uh, is quite a nice apple. But they're older trees, so I definitely want to grab some of these these older trees. They don't have a cold rootstock. These are naturally grown from probably seed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do another type of propagation, which I'll show you on this apple tree. So there's my target. I'm going to grab this branch right here. Right there. And we'll try one on there and we'll see what happens. And I'll show you what it looks like in one second once I I'll show you where I strip the bark so that we can definitely get down to the cambium layer and uh, wrap it up with some dirt so I've taken the bark off cleaned it all up and now I'm going to put one of these in, around it and I've cut a slit down the side down the middle or right down the side in the middle and then I cut a little hole in the bottom it's got its own drainage so I'm gonna put that around there and then I'm gonna duct tape it so that it stays on. And then I'll get some dirt and fill it up. So I'm all finished now. I've wrapped the cup around where I've cut off. I might have made it a little too big, but we'll find out. I mean, that's the best part about this is you can come back when it's ready and check out the results. So I used some duct tape just to put some plastic around it and also to hold the cup. From sliding down from the weight I put a little water in it so I'll only water it very little um, it just needs to stay moist just kind of like your seeds and I'll check on it in a couple of days well I'll check on it on Monday and then I'll check on it next week as well so these are my two apple cuttings I just took and these are the uh, two cherry cuttings I took and we'll have to clean them up get a little uh, shave a little bit of the bark off which we'll we'll get into when I get over there and uh, put some rooting rooting gel on them and stick them in some dirt okay so I have some stem root it's just a powder to help uh, a bunch of hormones and stuff to help the rooting process I didn't do that on that other tree so I'm uh, we'll have to just wait and see what happens to that one um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the knife and right at the end here, I'm going to take all of this bark off here, down to the cambium layer. I'm going to dip it into the rooting solution. And then I'm just going to jam it right down in there, good four or five inches. Okay, I'll do that and we'll come back. Okay, so I got them in the pots now. You can see. And I probably just cut the bark off about two inches from the bottom and definitely saving a room for where a bud sprout would come from so that it would definitely propagate from there and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the bottom off of that and then i'm just going to 
place it over top, just like a, a little mini greenhouse. And I'll, I'll place them in a nice little area like where I put my other seeds. And uh, I'll show you when I'm all finished there. So we're at the pear trees. I'm going to selectively pick two candidates to uh, use the cup method there that I showed you. And I'm going to take a few clippings too. So I'll just cut a few of the branches off and then I'll take them back and, and I'll stem root them. Okay, so I didn't stem root the apple, but I am going to try and stem root and throw some uh, rooting hormones on the, uh, the cambium layer there and then surround it with the, the cup and dirt. So one lucky candidate I just grabbed, I put some stem root on the bottom and I just jammed it in the ground and we'll come back and see how that one works out. I'm going to cover it up just a little bit around the base just to keep it moist around that area. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. And my plum trees that I planted two weeks ago. The blossoms are all gone and it's leafing out now. And my cherries are budding. So that's nice to see. The buds everywhere. These were nice plants when I got them. And I can't wait to see the fruit that comes off these babies. And then my, my plum tree again, and the plum tree. And then I just put like the pear over there right in the same row as the plum and the cherry. And then on the other side is a plum and a cherry as well. And I'll just mix them up so that they're a little bit uh, defended from all the predators, the insects. Okay, so I'm all done here. I'm gonna do one more on a different pear tree. And I also took a cutting from it. So I'm gonna take this, this cutting and I'm gonna make a few more cuttings out of that branch. So this is my big leaning tree that had a lot of these water sprouts. So I took one off of it as well. So I figured I'd try two different trees and see what happens. There you have it. I've got all my clippings and cuttings in uh, uh, pots, and I've you know cut out the bottoms of these plastic uh, containers, and the holes open in the top gives them some breathing air. Um, yeah, they should all be good, and as long as they stay moist, they should uh, should root in three to four weeks, and we'll definitely be coming in to check on them uh, periodically. Uh, I also have this uh, one last cutting that I had and I figured, hey, you know what? I'll just shove it in the ground, put a little ring around it so that uh, nobody will disturb it. And we'll just see if it actually does what it, what it could do and just root and start right here. And what a great place to have a pear tree than right here. So if you like my videos, uh, push the like button, uh, share it with your friends and uh, please subscribe. I've got plenty more videos coming, uh, lots more planting. I still have uh, part two of uh, the barn door and, uh, and we'll see you next time.